Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today is my final ride on the new gen 345S e-bike and uh, before it has to go back. It's a sad day really. I've been really enjoying this bike. Um, as you can see it's beautiful. It, it, just, it, just, it just really rides like a dream. Um, I was very impressed. You know, I've never had the um, chance to really ride a bike start like start like that, this, and I always thought that it's going to be um, it's going to be it's going to be more for just cruising. But it it covers so much um, different styles of riding that you can really just enjoy it. It's it's a uh, it's very nice, very nice. So um, I took the bike um, to work and. To work and back so this is now the next day and i just want to give you guys some feedback i had the bike now for a week i did about what about uh three to four, uh, four rides um and then also had my wife um and my daughter out out and out on the bike just to see how the bike feels and rides and and how they get uh accustomed to it because um this is what i wanted to really test with this bike is is can I take a mountain bike and get rid of a mountain bike and buy an e-bike like, like this and then allow the whole family to actually ride the bike? And conclusion, yes. <laughs> even my daughter that is um, uh, 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 eight, years, eight years old, she can't even touch the ground. But um, when the pedals spin and the assist kicks, uh, kicks in, it keeps the bike going and it keeps her upright and well because she can cycle she can ride the bike you know yes I was running behind her to uh, make sure that when she stops I could just hold on to the onto the rear of the bike but but the whole family can ride it my my wife had a go on it and she and she felt really comfortable again the only comment that she left um, uh, uh, was that the the seat in the front when you pedal it it um, hits the inside of your legs the other comment that she also made is if the um, if the push off from the electric motor can be set to um, be less so when it kicks in it doesn't give you such a big shove if you if you can tone that down maybe in uh, in one and two um, to be that push a little bit less now for me I like full speed uh, you know as much speed as possible off the word go so i don't really have that um, um complaint about it um or observation really it's not a complaint really um because yeah as soon as you get used to that that um off the mark push of the motor kicking in then you get used to it um what i did find on the way to work um, my route is about 40 percent road and the rest is all uh, towpath um, it handles the towpath really well. Um, it's really comfortable and whatever. Um, my only thing is, and this is more to my route specifically, is the towpath is very overgrown. So if you don't um, wear gloves, the stinging nettles and stuff is just all over your hands. But again, you know, it's 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 to it's to my route into the office that is that's that's that sort of the um, issue. Otherwise, the seat has been comfortable. Um, the the trip into the office is a 10 mile run in 10 mile run out it's a downhill to the uh, canal path and then on the way back it's uphill um, and so it's a 20 mile round trip and with that 20 miles i had was it 30 33 35 percent battery left when i got home and this was riding mostly on the throttle um, so yes, you can easily, easily get 30 miles out of this bike. This is now um, across three different rides. And yes, um, I'm not sitting in the highest uh, assist full throttle all the, all the time. You just can't do it, otherwise I land in the canal. But, uh, but using the throttle with pedaling and... Because sometimes, you know, what I did find is um, when you do technical little sections um, next to the towpath where it's very narrow single track um, when you pedal you have more um, more balance and more steering um, compared to just using the throttle because you're sitting um, a little bit laid back yeah you know the battery taking it out putting it back in that's sort of another thing that is really easy to do some other e-bikes 
it's a faff to get the battery out and get the battery in this thing put the key in turn pull the battery out it's not wiggle or it's stuck it just pulls out perfect charge it put the back battery battery back the charger is nice and simple as well two lights on there both is red um, when it's charging and then the one turns green when it's complete completed charging so uh, yeah it's 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 uh, I am uh, very surprised at how nice this bike is um, and also what I was mentioning on my previous video the clattering of the chain because the chain is so long I thought there's going to be way way more um, noise from the bike you know if you look at a normal mountain bike if you uh, ride on rough terrain the chain um, hits the the back stay and it just makes a clattering sound all the all the all the way and this bike there's nothing the only thing that does make a noise is the front the front suspension when when it goes up and down as my as my wife said the motor so that the kick in can be slower or you can adjust that at least secondly would be the cable routing um, to to sort of uh, clean that up or put that into a specific sleeve so uh, or even into the frame you know a, a, a lot of bike manufacturers does does that but again it's not in your way it doesn't make any noise and so forth so so uh, that's on the cable cable routing side um, the front light is awesome uh, the handlebars is awesome um, the um, switch gear to change up and down is smooth yes it doesn't have the high-end gear gears but as as I said in my previous video as well you don't really need um, high-end gears because you're probably going to just use the last three gears in any case um, because the assist is so nice to to just sit and just to sit and spin this uh, uh, deck is really good because the thing is it keeps all the dirt and dust away from you it's almost like you don't need a mud a mud guard so I haven't really ridden the bike well it 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 hasn't rained but I, but I can think this shelf and the flip up really covers the the rear wheel so if there's any any kick up from water and stuff it will it will land on that deck um, the deck is also nice when when I had my um, daughter on the front of the seat she puts her feet down there and if she's on the rear she can put her feet at the at the at the back and it works fine um, and it's and she's comfortable out of the way of the chains and whatever um, what I would like is to find out a little bit more about um, the foot pegs because that would be a nice addition if they can build that in to um, have the little nuts or lug nuts there or or the uh, the fit the fitting points where you can just screw in some uh, some uh, foot rests for the rear pillion that would that would that would be awesome um, what else can I think the Magira discs works really well um, it's 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 um, mid to high end uh, brakes it's it's solid it stops really 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 well um, I can't really complain about that um, again the tires squishy fat tires works a treat um, the only other thing that I can say that 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 I would um, like them to uh, 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 upgrade or offer different options is the front shock um, the front shock when you put the brake in and you move it forward it there is some movement in the shock um, and that's that that can that can sort of cause a bit of um, like a, 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 when you ride rough terrain it, it just bounces and it makes and it makes a net and it makes a noise but um, but otherwise the front shock works well you know it runs nice it, it 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 creates that plush ride and that's sort of what you want but yeah that's that's sort of the only thing that um if the front shock um can be upgraded or changed or, or if they offer different options that you can have the base shock and then you can have a a better shock with preload rebound all that lovely stuff because a lot of people would like that or options where where you can go and buy um other other shocks that, that, that will be awesome but otherwise guys really I don't really have anything else to say I, um, I'm going to put some ride footage in into um, into the into the video at the end if, if anyone is interested um, 
and then yeah i'll again i'll drop all the um, details of the bike down in the description below so you can go and check that out and uh, if you've got any comments um, or questions about the bike please drop it down below and i'll try and give uh, get you guys give you guys some feedback but otherwise guys you know um very impressed very impressed with the bike so guys, yeah, that's that's my feedback. Sadly, the bike has to go back today, um, and I'll give all these all this feedback to the guys at New Gen as well, so they can uh, they can uh, they can just add it to the list. I think they've got a massive list of of things that they would like to do to this bike. But otherwise, super impressed, super impressed. If you ever get a chance to go and get, um, drop into the guys at New Gen in London, please do check them out. The service is great, the guys are super friendly, they listen to you, they give you some feedback, they're always in hand to help you out. Um, absolutely awesome. I just, I just hope they, the, the brand grows and grows and grows and more people get to ride these bikes because they are awesome. Okay guys, thanks for watching and I will see you on the next video. Cheers.